tell us about the donation you're getting today. Uh, you know, the egg producers here in the state of Indiana, and especially here in Northeast Indiana, have just been so very generous over the years. And once again this year, they are making a donation of 440,000 eggs, uh, which if you do the math, that turns into 36,666.66 into affinity dozen eggs. Um, and, you know, we just couldn't be more grateful for the donation at this time of year. I've never heard you talk about having eggs to, to, to give out to individuals or to groups. Uh, how big are, are eggs as, in what you guys do here? You know, an egg donation is really wonderful because it is a wonderful source of protein and it's very adaptable to all kinds of uh, dietary restrictions and, and special diet needs, uh, maybe because of cultural or religious issues. Um, so, you know, eggs are really, really great. Plus, they can be utilized in so many ways uh, with some of the other donations that we receive, like the flour donations, and you can make uh, noodles and pastas and that sort of thing. So it's very versatile and uh, again an excellent source of protein and hey you know northeast indiana has lots of poultry producers so uh, with that you get eggs it is this one this isn't one farmer that's no no this is um the midwest uh poultry uh, uh company and it's also um the state uh poultry association or egg producers so that's who it is now you said they'll last until they're gone. But but eggs <laughs> eggs themselves last for a long time, right? I mean, right, eggs have an excellent shelf life and these are nice fresh eggs uh, that we're receiving so they should last a good long time. Uh, but you know, when you stop and think of how many people we help in a week, uh, which according to the latest hunger study whose results we released last month, that's 21,100 people per week that we're assisting in Northeast Indiana. So this huge donation is wonderful, but if each one of them got a dozen eggs, it would be like less than two weeks that they would last. Eggs are pretty fragile. How do you predict them on the pallets moving up and down and all that kind of stuff? <laughs> we let the egg producers figure out how to do that. That's their bailiwick, not ours. But they do get, uh, you know, uh, transported in, in the proper way so that they they uh, hold up under uh, the movement and that sort of thing and uh, I believe like last year we had a donor who was generous and uh, made a donation of the actual dozen um, uh, containers so that just like you would get in the grocery store and Easter is just around the corner a coincidence or something more hmm. I don't believe in coincidences I think it was <laughs> meant to be at this time of year <laughs> I know last month when we were, we were here, you talked about the needs that you have uh, in the community and the, and the clients that you're seeing. Is that abated any? Is it, is it increased? It's still the same. You know, uh, the most recent unemployment, uh, you know, figures came out again just last week and they indicate that there really hasn't been any positive movement in that number. And uh, so again, as long as there's no positive results where jobs are concerned, our needs, uh, or the need for us is gonna be even greater uh, as it goes on because people's resources continue to dwindle. They're not getting better. So even once the economy does start to, we start to feel the turnaround in this area, it's gonna be, I would guess, at least 18 months even after that before we start seeing positive results because people are gonna have a long, long way to make up. Very good. Great. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.